Hi, this is Howard Levy, principal of Red Rooster Group, and we're back with another in our nonprofit branding series. Today we're talking about your board's role in the branding process. So, you decided that your nonprofit needs to upgrade its image. You want to be more compelling, you want to be able to distinguish your organization from competition, you want to be able to have a really interesting story to tell donors that makes them really want to give. And so you decided to undergo a process, hire a design firm, help you formulate a message, give you a new logo, give you a new website, give you all the new technology tools that you need. So you, how do you go about this process and what role does the board play in this process? Well, the first is that you'll probably have a marketing committee that will be able to make the dis major decisions about this. Now, if you're a small organization, it'll just be the executive director or the development director or maybe a marketing person. But if you're a larger organization, you want to involve different people to get their points of view uh, taken into consideration. And so the marketing committee might be five people, might be some people from the staff, and it might be people from the board. And that's the first role that the board can play is being represented on the marketing committee. Now the role of the committee is to be able to uh, hire the design firm and manage the process. So in hiring the firm, they'll write the RFP, the request for proposal, they'll put it out there, they'll solicit proposals, they'll review the proposals, they'll have interviews with the design firms, and they'll make a final selection. And then during the course of the process, they'll be meeting with the design firm to provide approvals and major steps in the direction over the course of the whole process. Providing input and feedback, acting as liaisons to other parts of the agency, collecting needed information, and so forth. And so the board's involvement on that committee will be very important, ensure that the board overall has a say in what this whole process is about and the outcomes. Now, the board, though, can be a lot more specifically involved in a couple of other ways. Number two is that they can be participating in the interviews. Now, typically, at least at Red Rooster Group, when we do a brand project with a nonprofit, we'll have a discovery phase. This is where we gather information from all sorts. So we look at a, com a competitive review of what other agencies that are competing for Mindshare, that means either for services or from the, on the side of the funders, um, We'll put together analysis and find the opportunities that are not being presented by those other organizations. And we'll also do other kinds of research, and some of that includes interviews. We'll typically interview staff, we'll interview um, key leadership, we'll interview donors, and then we'll also interview board members. So this is another area that the board and their opinions and the points of view can be taken into consideration. Typically these are one-on-one -on -one interviews, they're about a half hour, maybe an hour, maybe longer depending on um, what emerges from them. And it allows the board members to participate, to provide feedback, their personal stories, their ideas for their vision for the organization, the challenges they think that the organization faces. Um, all these points of view are taken into consideration during the interview stage. Now the third um, major way that the board can be involved is through a brand session, a wor facilitated workshop that actually allows everyone to interact at the same time and talk about how they feel about the mission, what they think the challenges of the organization are, what they think the strengths of the organization are, what they think the vision of the organization should be. All these key things that might end up in the core message, and the brand values, you know, what are the things that we really believe as a group, as an agency, what is the personality, the overall tone that we want to be conveying, um, and then how do we express that, you know, what's the kind of language that we want to use, do we want to be more, you know, research and clinic, clinical oriented, do we want to be accessible, do we want to be fun, um, what does the tagline look like, and so forth. So those are all kinds of things that an uh, outside design agency can help to facilitate uh, with, the, um, with the board. Now the fourth um, area of board involvement is actually deciding on the overall direction. So once all this stuff is done, the research, the conceptual work, the facilitated brand workshops, 
um, the design firm uh, presents various approaches. Now, it's the marketing committee's role to evaluate those approaches and to, to provide feedback. Um, but at the conclusion, ultimately, it's the board that's going to be making the final decision. Now, in some cases, the process results in one final direction, and it's really up to the board just to approve that direction so that they can then implement the rest of the, um, the strategy. So we could develop the website and the email campaigns and the newsletters and so forth. Um, other times, it's uh, not as clear-cut, and there are two options that might be presented. In that case, it's useful to have the design agency present to the board so that they can help to uh, facilitate a discussion around the best approach. And that's typically what we do at Red Rooster Group, is that we'll make a presentation that allows everyone to provide their own feedback and input on these different approaches and then we'll try to come to a consensus about which one is best for the organization. Now, the final role that the board can play is in being a brand advocate. And that means that they're the people who are speaking about the organization, and the whole brand process should result in the tools that enable them to do that more effectively. So whether it's actual the, the language that they can use, here are three points that you should cover whenever you're talking about the organization. Here are the brand values that we should be expressing when we make a presentation to a donor. Um, here's the logo and here's how the visual tools, the, the colors, the typefaces, the images, here's our general personality. This is when we create a new a newsletter, a presentation, a website, when we're creating our event and the signage and the materials for it. This is the overall sensibility that we want to convey, so that it can become consistent. And the board is going to be key in acting as an ambassador for your organization, and this whole brand process will help facilitate that by giving them these needed tools so that when they're going out to um, specific donor meetings, when they're talking in front of their, uh, their church or their association, um, they can be all speaking about the organization in the same way. And it doesn't sound like they're different organizations when different board members are speaking about them. So to, to wrap up, there are a lot of different ways that the board can be actively involved in your brand uh, process. The first is by being represented on the brand committee, on the marketing committee or brand committee, whatever you're going to call it. Uh, the second is by participating in the research interviews during the discovery phase so that they can provide input into um, the specific vision and direction of the organization. The third is as a group providing input in facilitated workshops so that all points of view can be addressed in a group setting and so that everyone is aware of uh, what other people are saying and can um, understand the sense of consensus that will emerge. And the fourth is the deciding on the overall brand direction. So once the marketing committee has done all its work and is presenting for final approval, whether it's one direction just for a rubber stamp approval or it's um, open to more direction and it's up to the board then to make final decision. Um, and then finally is acting as brand champions or brand ambassadors or brand advocates, whatever word you want to use, for the organization and having the tools to be able to do that effectively. So we hope you enjoyed this presentation and look for other nonprofit branding videos by Red Rooster Group. Thanks. See you next time.